<laughs> this is such a big thing, right? Thank you. Oh, come on, Jim. Jim. Good morning, Colin. Morning. Thank you very much for coming on the show. Hello and welcome to Qatar's first sports podcast, In The Game. I'm your host, Steve Mackey, and we can't wait to introduce you to everything that is sports here in Qatar and afar. We're going to be bringing you personalities, company owners, institutions, individuals that are making a real difference. So, with us, enjoy the journey. Hello and welcome to In The Game, Qatar's first sports podcast. Today, oh my word, we have an athlete, not just any athlete, somebody that participated in the IWF World Championships. Jamal, welcome to the show. Please introduce yourself. Hi, thank you for uh, welcoming me here in uh, your station. I'm Jamal Hairan from uh, Qatar national team, 800 uh, specialist runner. I uh, competed in uh, IWF World Champion and uh, I'm Asian uh, champion uh, games in the indoor and also a bronze medalist in uh, Asian champion uh, last year. <laughs> what a, a what a pedigree. So you're you're kind of you know your stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and how long have you you're a young guy. How long have you been doing this for now? Uh since 2009. Uh, I start with the cl Ryan Club, uh, then the next year uh, I won the Club Nationals Youth here in Doha. So uh, after that they called me the Qatar national team to present in the golf games. And uh, I become a professional uh, since then. Dear me, yeah. so 800 meters, that's that's half a mile. Okay, yeah. so... so how did you find yourself? You, you, it's a specialist event. Um, how did you find yourself going to that event? How did you know that you were going to be this the, the 800 meter runner? Of course, like when I uh, entered the Ryan Club, I did a lot of tests. When uh, they see my speed is good and also I have a good endurance and ability to improve my endurance. So the coach uh, tried to like put me in 800. And uh, I improved that year, but the next year I won, the, like I told you, the club national. So I find it's it's good, uh, like it's uh, it's a good event for me, you know. Yeah. And uh, it's not like uh, 400, it's like full sprint or 1500, it's full endurance. So it's mixed and I find myself a uh, good energy. Well done. Know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we, we were talking just before and, and um, we had Sebastian Co. So you're, you're Sebastian Co. We had Steve Cram. We had um, Ovet. And, and they were always in, they were in my era. So I, I kind of, I had that special liking. So 800 meters, it's, it's kind of, it's really good. Um, what I was going to say to you now is, is that, that obviously we're going to be talking today a lot about the world championships. That must have been a huge honor to be representing your country, right? Of course, yeah. I'm so proud that uh, I was part of this uh, IWF World Champion. And uh, it was like a special feeling for me and for my family and for my friend because they watch me. And also it was a strong opportunity for me to compete with the elite world champions, you know? Yeah. And you can't find this uh, competition like every time, you know? So it was a uh, honor for me to be part of this uh, championship. You just said a word, honor. It's an honor for you to be on our show to it, for, 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 to have you on the show today. Honestly, I really do believe yeah, that. I and I, I remember when I got a call to say that you you've agreed to come on the show, mm -hmm. and I just wanted to. I, I went and looked on Google at all your images and your expressions on when you're winning the race, and I, that brings us to a good. Could we see your your yeah. your medal? Yeah. Because this is this is pretty special. Yeah, the the picture that you saw when I won this medal. In, so let me uh, show it to the camera. Yeah. So this is um, the medal. Okay. So tell us about about this medal. Yeah, it was in 2017. Okay. And uh, in uh, Asian Games indoor, I won that uh, medal in 800, and uh, it was uh, like a mixed feelings, you know, in the end, and when I crossed the line. So, like you saw the, the yeah, like yeah. my face, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's come like naturally. You it know? was amazing. I, yeah. I kind of and again, I try to when I, when I I do the shows, I try to 
I've been envisaging myself going over the line yeah. and I can, I, it was like the, the, oh, it was fantastic. I, yeah. I, I love looking through the images. So, yeah. and, and, and you definitely got some fantastic expressions when you're going over the line. So honestly, it's, it's an honor that, that um, I'm so, I'm so thankful you. that you're on the show. No so I'm going to take you now. I, I kind of, I want to take you on this journey. I want to take our, our um, listeners or viewers onto the journey. So it's the IAAF. Okay, the World Championships, and you're now getting prepared for this World Championship that's in Qatar, and you're going to be taking part of it. What what was it like with the run up to the event? Like in the beginning, like to prepare for this IWF, like World Champion, it's take a long time. You know, we like prepare for this from from like since maybe before like two years from it you know and the standard there is a like time standard to qualify to this world champion right so the standard opened before one year of the competition so uh, it was tough to find a good competition good atmosphere to qualify to this uh, world champion yes i qualified by the row down and it was like uh, very exciting to uh, compete in the you know in home yeah it's it's different yeah you know? yeah yeah a, uh, in front of a lot of people a lot of uh like uh, a local to show them how what is athletics exactly you know so uh for me in that in that day i will not tell you like a, a lot of pressure but i try to have fun show the people like uh one of the qatari uh, athletes who will run, how, how, what I will do, you know, also cheer them as, uh, uh, show them uh, love, you know, and uh, also when I enter the stadium with the crowd, <laughs> I feel like, you know, I, I will not tell you, I, can, I come to the track sleepy, but when I saw all that crowd, I feel so exciting, you know, Dear I me. did like a fast stride all the, ta all the way till uh, the curve. Yeah. And they saw all my friends, all my uh, family. I waved to them. I said, I need to do good in this competition, you know. And uh, it was like mixed feeling. I feel powerful, of course. Really? Yeah, of course. In the start, like I get off, I get off from the start very quick. And, uh, you know, there is some tech, you know, 800 is tactical race. Yeah. Yeah. And you, ha you must have like a good strategy, you know, in the race. I get fifth. I uh, I didn't qualify to the semi final, but in the end, I was happy with my coach because it's only ten millisecond that yeah. made me to don't qualify to the semi final. But in the end, everyone was happy. Everyone like uh, saw me race, saw me fighting to be a part in the semi final, and it was good. Yeah, I, fun, I, yeah, I went there a couple of times. Yeah, and and the atmosphere was incredible. Of course, yeah. And everyone like sharing the stadium is full. Everyone like wear a top, you know, and uh, the traditional like yeah. uh, uniform. And uh, I told you before, like uh, I like I was dreaming of this moment because I've been in China World Championship. I saw the crowd, all like the Chinese, they cheer they, uh, their athlete. And I was dreaming about this, when it will happen for me. Yeah. And uh, it was real mm. like, for like two months, you know. So it was a good feeling. So I, again, so we, we've got the race. You've, you've kind of, you told us a little bit about how you've got to be tactical. How are you tactical? What's your, your race plan? Can you tell us your race plan? What? Yeah, it's, it depends on what, like, uh, the type of the race. Because there's, like, a Diamond League. Okay. Diamond League, they put a rabbit in the race <laughs> the, to make... <laughs> what is that? Tell the rabbit the... is the pacer, the, ah, uh, the pacemaker. Right, okay. yeah. I got you, yeah. So it, they, it, they bring the pacemaker to make the race very fast. Okay. So there is no another option. Okay. You will go all out <laughs> from the beginning, you know? Right. But for, like, a tactical race, like, for the middle... Yeah. So you will have a lot of st strategies. You you must before you come to the to the race to have a mini plans yeah. because anyone can destroy your plan. Like for example, for me, I uh, always stay in the back and try to uh, like wait to the, the right moment to kick and like beat the oppon opponent in the last one hundred. You know. Yeah. But there is a other athlete they uh, and depends in uh, first lap. They like to kill the first lap to make the other athlete tired to don't pass them, you know? In the yeah, end. yeah. So it's 
kind of difficult event. Yeah. You know, to be you need to be like uh, train hard and mentally strong and uh, talk to yourself always in the race. I was just going to say this. I yes. was just because it, yeah, it was a course. part that when we were talking outside just before of we came course. in, you don't you, get box and you yeah. don't uh, like uh, try to don't change your pace a lot in the race. You know. And uh, choose the right place, like I told you before. So you're talking to yourself constantly. Of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I need to. I need and, to. And and when you're doing this, you're, you're t- there's a lot to take in. So I've I've got to kick off. I've got to get a good start. I've got to get myself boxed in. Not boxed in. I've got to get myself in a nice position where yeah. I'm comfortable. Of course. And and I'm constantly talking to myself, running around. Okay. And then, but how do you take? What's happening outside? Do you, can you hear the crowd? Uh, of course, you will hear the crowd, but sometimes you can't hear who who's shouting, who's like sharing, you know. Right. But sometimes, like, you will, you know, like, uh, sometimes when I, I'm running, sometimes I hear my coach, but sometimes no, you know, because the focusing. Yeah. But when I adapt to this, of course, you will, like, my coach before the race, he will tell me I will be in the 200. So I, I try to focus on the 200, what he will say. Maybe he will say, go to the front, stay your place, you know, like some tacticals work. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's too difficult to yeah. maintain, maintain yeah. focusing in the race and also focusing outside of the race. Oh, yeah. dear yeah. me. That was, and I, I kind of, it was, again, the crowd was wonderful. Yeah. And all the Qataris were getting such cheer. Everybody was getting behind them. It must have been massive for you. Yeah, of course, it was, uh, I told you, it was so special, you know, and this uh, it's encouraged me to do more. And like we say, uh, like we saw in uh, Matas Bersham uh, event, when everybody like was sharing and it was like a last uh, attempt for him. Yeah. And he did it. Yeah. You know, he did it for us. And he also, after the like uh, competition, he said in the interview, like I did, I, yes, I won the uh, the gold medal, and also the gr- the crowd won the gold medal with yeah. me because yeah. they made me 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 uh, make it. I loved it when he was with the Emir. You know, yeah, that yeah, was yeah. just I, I, I kind of and the Emir was cheering because you've got yes. some pictures of of the Emir. Yeah, and he, he was, was virtually there, yes. he's so tall, the Emir, and and he was virtually yeah. up until the ceiling upstairs yeah. watching from the sky bar or yeah. the sky kind of the sky box. Um, but it was fantastic because he really got behind you all as well. The, it was fantastic. It was just unbelievable. I, I loved watching it. It was brilliant. Yeah, it was it was so good from the Amir, of course, because, you know, the Amir, he always likes the sport. Yeah. He encouraged uh, the Olympic Committee also because uh, also the Sheikh Joan, he is the president of the Olympic yeah. Committee. Yeah. And they cover everything and they support all the athletes from the camp, uh, salaries and all that, you know. All that uh, uh, needs of athletes, you know. It was it was amazing because you, people don't know how much organisation that's got to go into one of these events, and from from the time that the athletes gets off the plane, you know, it's everything is planned for them. So so everything seemed to be working perfectly. It was a fantastic event. It was it was just everything seemed to have its place. But you know, we were talking outside, and you were talking about. Um, how your teammates come together, you know, everybody within the team and the camaraderie. And you see that from every level, because even the volunteers outside where they're, they're showing people around and let them, it worked wonderfully. It was, it was fantastic. And, and congratulations. It was amazing. Yeah. Yeah. It was so, it, it was so fantastic. Like you said, everyone here is together because we already know each other from the school, from the neighbors and uh, before the athletics, we know each other. So, and uh, also the, like, uh, if, for example, like Matez, he will compete tomorrow. Yeah. Of course, I will post uh, a, p- a picture of him. Yeah. And everybody will repost the picture, yeah. you know? Yeah. So that's a very good thing here in Doha, you know, mm. in Qatar, especially. It, yeah. Yeah. Everyone, like, will support you. Oh, you it, know? It, and it is brilliant it, yeah. in that, that sense. And, and whether you're you're a, a national or you're an expat yeah. you get that camaraderie you yeah. get that it's 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 very um it's very special um right i I've, I've done it the opposite way today so i've taken you on this wonderful um and and i want to say a part about your your mum and dad was at the stadium as well so that must have been magical and your brothers and sister they were all there yeah uh, my family they all all there of course 
uh, especially in the finals days. But in my race, they were there and uh, they were so happy to see me race finally here oh, in dear. Doha. You know, it's it's not only the Diamond League. You know, it's a world champion. Yeah, to see like your son or your or your brother there in the championship. Of course. And uh, before that, the picture of you in the newspaper, you will compete and all that. It was like a big thing for me, you know, and for them also. So, so again, I, I wanted to build this story up at the beginning, okay? But for our listeners also, I wanted to, <laughs> what I want to do with you right now is I want what it takes to get to that stage. All the inhalation the crossing the line the images of you crossing the fantastic feeling but you've been doing this for 10 years now okay and you've been going out there day in and day out and training what is that like it's a t it's a tough li lifestyle you know like i told you it's in the beginning like we start like uh almost 10 months in a year training uh traveling around all the wars try to competing, sacrifice of a lot of days, you know. Yeah. Sometimes we don't spend the Eid with uh, our friends, with our families, and uh, also birthdays, uh, Ramadan. You sacrifice a lot of things, you know, to like uh, train hard, try to compete in other uh, competition, big competition. But when you reach, like I told you, the middle ceremony, you forget all that. You know, because uh, it's worth it. Yeah. You know, especially when you have talent and everybody believes in you and you train hard and everything like uh, you have everything. So it's worth it. You know, Hey, you're an you're inspiration, honestly. I'm mean, listening to you yeah. now. I'll tell you, you, you are an inspiration to all the, the you. I, I was telling you a story. I was I was which was this is where it's very special, where I think that you're, you're an inspiration. Is it when I went to the I double I when I went to the championships, um, I just looked down at the front where the fence was and and there were so many children down there watching their their stars going round. And the inspiration that they're gonna get from you participating in this this thing is gonna be huge. It's like do you ever feel the pressure of that on your shoulders? Uh, actually, it's it's a pressure, but also in the same time, is uh, you 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 will make them like uh, you will give them a sample of one of Qatari and one of the local uh, athlete. He can reach that level, yeah. you know. To, so you will give them hope to uh, like uh, do like you, and maybe they can reach more than my level, you know. So it's uh, I think uh, that's a good uh, thing, you know. It's not a p big pressure for me. Yeah. yeah. But there must be so many sacrifices. It's, uh, I'm looking at, you know, the training that you must go through. You can tell that I go through a lot of training myself. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, th but tell us something about your, your diet even. It's like, that must be, it. all these sacrifices that you make to get to the, the podium. Yeah, of course. Like a lot, I told you, sacrifice. Like, for example, travels. And let's say, let's talk about the diets. I didn't like I'm I'm didn't I'm, I'm don't talk, I didn't talk uh, take a like uh, strict diet but still I try to clean uh, to eat clean yeah uh, and also like avoid the fast food and also avoid the sweets you know I know it's hard especially before the competition you know you will have like a special uh, like food like a lot of carb amount of uh, protein and you will not eat any sweet you know? No, no, only fruit. So when are you allowed to? When are you allowed to have that special treat? Maybe the coach will uh, give you a gift after the good result after the competition. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> yeah, but small piece, huh? Uh, small piece. <laughs> yeah. That's that's and and how important is the coach in your your life? Because it is your life. It's it's like you must be training early in the morning, and he's the one that's there pushing you on, telling you you got work harder. Yeah, of course it's. For him, it's a lot of pressure. I yeah. will tell you, yeah, of course, because also he he don't train me all, only. He train like four or five athletes, you know. So he need to know what every athlete need. But uh, I'm so happy with my coach. He's uh, like a uh, Olympian uh, uh, coach. Yeah. He trained before uh, Cruz, the Brazilian Olympic uh, champion. Okay. And he have a lot of experience. 
and uh, now we are like uh, going well I did with him like uh, three personal bests and I qualified to the world champion so uh, we are doing good with him and, and, and you were saying about the, the 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 time between you qualifying and not qualifying so when you're beating your personal best how far do you think that you can go how far because you're making those improvements constantly yeah. so where's where's your you just keep on pushing yourself how fast do you think that you can go like this year you tell, yeah. you tell me this target for this year yeah. i talked to the coach maybe we can break one second really yeah like I'm... from 145 one minute 45 second we can go to 144 uh, nine, let's say yeah this will be a good time you know yeah yeah Yeah, that's a good thing. Yes. And what's your what's you've you've you're still very young. I keep on saying this. You're still very young. What's your ambitions? What's 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 your your? Have you got goals? Have you got ways that you think to yourself? This is what I want to achieve now. Yeah, of course. Like every year, like uh, we sit with the federation, we sit with the coach to set uh, goals. Like for this year, definitely the the goals is Tokyo 2020. So uh, I'm trying to qualify to 2020 Tokyo and uh, to show also people there like they ca I can do it and I can go to the semi-final. Why not the final also for 800? Jamal, you can do it. Yeah. You can do it. You you got it in you. you yes. It's like, and, and it looks seriously, it looks like when I saw your, your pictures and your smile is, is just infectious. Yeah. It's like, you can do this. You can kind of, you can get yeah. that, that, you can be in Tokyo next year. Yeah, Come we, on. Are, we, we, yeah. Are, we are working on that and uh, I know I can do it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Keep going, keep yeah. going. And and um, so what's your, uh, what what have you got plans? So when do you have to start training for Tokyo? So when, when do you, are you training now? Yeah, I started already the season, but for Tokyo, because this Olympic Games, you know, we already have this target before, like, let's say three, four years, you know, because it's not easy to come in one day and you said, oh, I want to go to Tokyo. So we start this, like, we plan for this, like, before three years, and we are now in the, almost the right way, and I'm so close, you know, I just need the uh, 60 millisecond. No! Yeah. Go on! you could yeah, do it yeah 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 that's that's fantastic so so we're cheering for you please yeah, we yeah. are we're cheering for you yeah, come on get to tokyo yeah it, it would be, would be yeah, yeah good worry. on you yeah, I, will send, really... i will send some picture oh me. please yeah. that would be amazing and i love your hat okay yeah. i love the the kind of um don't forget to be awesome yeah of course. okay yeah. because I, i suppose that's what we've all got to think mm -hmm. it's like don't and and one one of the things that i've noticed with you and and i've only know we've been sitting together now for an hour let's say um but you're so down to earth you're, you're you haven't got carried away with all this you're still a humble humble mm -hmm. guy mm -hmm. and you're still kind of but you're you're such an inspiration to others and i yeah, i, I hope you. people see that when when they see the the um the the uh, podcast yeah, because um you. you've you've gone through you've you've made the country proud and to be able to cheer you on it in yeah, your race you so fantastic it's 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 wonderful um dear me what so you've got the olympics that you're looking forward to now yeah is there anything else that you want to achieve in your life Yeah, of course. Also, we have a like uh, Asian indoor champion okay. in uh, February. Yeah. So it will be in uh, China. So I'm looking for like, uh, inshallah, gold medal. Yeah. Go on. Maybe in 1500 this time. You've got to promise me. Okay. One yeah. thing you've got to promise when you get the next gold medal. You've yeah. got to come back on the show. Yeah, I don't no. care if you bring a medal or not, but <laughs> it, when you get the gold, bring it back on so that yeah. we can all cheer with you. Yeah, I promise you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So which, and, and, and I'm kind of, so you just mentioned on it, and my friend said to me before, he said, look, just ask him, what is he going to preference? Because he's a, a runner. He, he likes doing this, this running yeah. thing. And he was saying, ask him, is it going to be, he's going to stay at 800 meters or is he going to step up to 1500? Like I'm thinking me and uh, the coach to like swap to the 1500 But maybe next year, you know, because now the Olympics is too close. Yeah. No time to change, yeah. you know. So I think next year I will be like do more at 1500 uh, training. And with 1500 training, maybe I can able also to run uh, the 800. 
Yeah, yeah. I think this is the 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 idea for next year. So with with these people that that run the both races, so they run yeah. the eight hundred and the fifteen hundred. How much must that take out of them if they're doing both races at the same competition? Yeah, but that uh, th- those athletes, I think, uh, or like uh, almost uh, not all of them. They are like uh, all an old age, like thirties. Ah, right. You know, they already like compete. In Be careful the, uh, what you're saying now. Jamal, uh-huh. when you say old people, okay? not, not too old, thirty, <laughs> yeah, no, no. <laughs> not too old, like experience. They have a lot of experience, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. Yeah. So uh, I think for them, like it's easier. But also, when you like uh, reach some age, your speed will go a little like down. So you need go f- forward for the event, yeah. you know. Yeah. So uh, I think fifteen hundred, it's good. We're going to be cheering on. Whatever yeah. distance you're running, yeah. we're going to be cheering you on. Yeah, and I you. promise you, we will be cheering you on. Okay, so keep in touch with us, please. Yeah, everybody, you. everybody, please, Jamal, thank you so much for coming on the show. No it's problem. been fantastic. It's and I'm pleasure. so thank you. I'm, I'm so glad that you shared those moments with us. Mm-hmm. And and to be quite honest with you, with being a parent, I'm so, I'm so proud for your parents yeah, too, because that's special to have a son like you yeah, kind of competing you, at the World Championship it must be a magical feeling and I, I, I really thank you um, so so say hello to your parents for me and say yeah, go on yeah, say, okay. yeah, thank you so much everybody thanks for listening this has been an amazing podcast and I hope you've enjoyed it so until next week please Jamal thank you so much thank and you thank so you everybody much. for listening okay thank you bye bye